Okay, so hello everyone. In this discussion video, we have to discuss, or we have to talk about the ellipse. An ellipse is the collection of points, or the locus of points in a plane, when the sum of host distances from two fixed points that we are calling the fo the foci or the foci, which is the plural for the focus, is a concept. So you can draw an ellipse by taking two push pins, cardboards with a piece of string attached as shown. So the place where each of the pins is located is what you refer to as our focus. Wherein, if we have to look at it in its plural form, that is the foci or your foci, the sum of the distances from the ellipse to this point stays the same because it is the length of the string. So, as an overview of what are different parts of the ellipse are called, we have the following. So this one, we have to call this is our center. Okay, we have your major axis. This one it is the direction, the longest part of an ellipse. We have your minor axis. We have your foci, or two of our focus. Then we have your vertices at the end points of our major axis. Also, we could uh, we have also your co-vertices here at the end points of our minor axis. Okay, the equation for an ellipse can be derived by using the definition and the distance formula. The resultant equation is so we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to one. And take note that we have the equation for to relate our a and b as b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. The values of a, b, and c tell us about the size of our ellipse. Okay, take note that a is measured in our major axis, B is for our minor axis value, or half of our minor axis value. And then C is this distance. So from the center to, the, to one of your focus, so that will be your C. That's why if we have to relate this value, B squared is equal to A squared minus C squared. Next, to find the vertices in foci and graph the ellipse, for example, given x squared of, over 9 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So from the center, of, from the, center the ends of the major axis are a units each in a specific direction, where a is the square root of this given value. So for this one, our a is equal to square root of 9, which is equal to so we have to move three units from our center. When basing on this one, our center is the origin. So we have one, two, three. So we have A here, we have A units to the left also. The ends of this are our vertices. So we have three, zero, and negative three, zero. Next one, from the center, the ends of the minor axis are what we have as the square root of this one or our b. So we have to count b units from our center going upward and going downward because this is our minor axis. So we have one, two, this will be the value. So we have this one for your minor axis, b upward and b downward. So take note, could be in a minus the comma value of the minor axis. Or a monotone major axis. So, what sitting on atong yung major axis that is 9, ara siya sa x axis, kay ara siya sa denominator sa atong x. So, take note always kung di in ang mas, uh, da, kung di in ang may dako ng denominator, ang muna siya ng mga major axis. So, since atong yung uh, may dako ng value sa denominator is ara sa x, that means nga atong major axis is along the x value. So, ang muna ang orientation natong horizontal. Okay, to find the foci, they are c units away from the center in each direction. So, ganiton, so c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared, so it is 9 minus 4. c is equal to, or c squared is equal to 5. c is equal to square root of 5 or 2.2.
The center of the ellipse may be transformed from the origin. The equation will then be, we have x minus a squared over a squared plus y minus k squared is equal over b squared is equal to 1. So this one is our equation of an ellipse where in our major axis is in the horizontal. So take note, a is always greater than b. So what's in one, kung di na nga doon yung a, kung di na mas dako nga value, that's why mo na nga doon nga um, orientation sa nga doon nga ellipse. Dara nga doon nga major axis. So kabalo kita, since ang a subong is ari sa doon nga y, but si lingon ang orientation sa nga doon ellipse is vertical na. So we have ang muning nga isura sa nga doon nga ellipse. If an ellipse is not in the standard form, you must do algebraic manipulation to get it looking like this. So, ang muna yung pinakahapos ng way in order for us to identify sa A kag B, ang muna dapat ang itsura sa ating equation. Para ma-identify ka, ito niya A kag B, ma-identify man ito ng ito niya equation or ito niya coordinates sa ito niya center of the ellipse. One ellipse can have a vertical major axis. In that case, a squared is under the y squared. So, may gina-mention natin kanina. Kung naging mo nga ay arak sa denominator sa y squared, both sila nga vertical ang ito yung orientation or vertical ang ito yung major axis. Okay, so you can tell which value is a because a squared is always greater than b squared. So, we will have some par using it, for example, orientation. So, para sa ito nga, ellipse. So, for example, ang given sa ito is, pangitao niya ang ining equation sa ellipse or find the equation of the ellipse shown. So, that is, kabalo kita, this is centered sa origin. So, ba siling on x squared, y squared lang sa baba. Wala ka iba niya term. Next, we have your... Kung isipo na ton, ang ato yung major axis is vertical. That's why dapat ato yung may taas na value ang denominator sa y. So kung isipo na ton, 1, 2, 3, 4, but siya yung this is 4 squared. Next, para sa ato b yung value, that is 1 unit. So this is 1 squared. So we have 1 squared. So this is the equation of our unit. Okay, kung gusto mo ko, anong values ng theory sa distance of your uh, foci halit sa center, so minus mo lang. So, you will have your c squared is equal to 15. Okay? Where the meaning of distance is 3.9 or mga somewhere there. Okay, so for example, para yung sa natin mga previous na mga examples, we have to find the center, foci, vertices, and we have to graph the ellipse given the equation 4x squared plus 3y squared plus 8x minus 6y is equal to 5. Complete the square on the x terms and then on the y terms. So we have, so since we have this equation, so what tiling nun, kinala na ito, separate ang ito nga, ang ito nga, kinala na ito i-factor out ang ito niya constant. So, we have 4. Then, mabilin ka rin. So, since we have 8x, both silingon, so, isa-parate naman eh. So, ma-divide tali by 4, we'll have x squared. Ma-divide tali by 4, mahimok kita, 2x. Same man sa y, since isa-parate na yung 3, so, 3 divided by 3, so we have 1 here, 6 divided by 3, that will be 2 here. So, muna siya. Then we have the ring. So take note, kung may ara, kadri 4 sa guwag, i-factor out na ito, and say may disappear. Ma-factor out ka man 4, ma-factor out ka man 3. So next, we will have x squared plus 2x. Kabalo lang ta kung paano na ito i-perform mga ito completing the square. Divide this one by 2, and then squared. So 2 type divided by 2 is 1, then squared, it will be equal to 1. Next, we have negative 2 divided by 2, that will be 1 negative 1 squared, that will be equal to 1. But sinigun, kinangla natin to multiply by 1 then. Or may mag-add 1, and 1 li what sa piyak na equation, or sa right size ng ito niya, equation. Ang ito niya equation will be 4 times x plus 1 squared plus 3 times y minus 1 squared is equal to 12. So, the right hand side must be ah, Kinala natin mag-divide sa values kaya para ma-wonder ma eh dapat ang ato niya, 
right side. So, kung nakita ninyo sa ito nga uh, general form of the equation, ang ito nga right side is always equal to 1. So, divide by 12, both sides of the equation. So, we will have, it is 1. So, dividing, ito nga answer will be 3, ito nga answer for this one will be 4, this will be equal to 1. So, this one is now the equation sa ating nga hyperbola. This is now the standard form and we are ready to find kung ano ang kinangla natin para mag-wrap sa natin nga. Para mula, I mean. So, I'm sorry. So, para mabalaan natin ang kung, ano, kung paano natin yung graph ang natin nga para mula. So, we have x plus 1 squared all over 3 plus y minus 1 squared all over 4 is equal to 1. So, makita na natin kung di hindi ang natin yung major axis kung minor axis. At yung major axis kung di lang magdapo ang value so, ara siya sa y. So, both sige nyo, atun center, so boom, is change the sign, so this is negative 1, positive 1. So, it change lang ang sign. So, negative 1, positive 1, ang muna natin yung value. Next, we have, this is your a, so atun, or a squared, atun a is equal to 2. So, both sige nyo, we have to move a units, halin sa atun yung vertices, pakato sa atun yung, or along sa atun yung y, kaya ara sa y atun major axis. So, this one, so 1, 2, 1, 2. So, this one is your A. For B naman, so this B squared is equal to 3. So, therefore, yung mga B is equal to square root of 3. So, square root of 3, so somewhere mga lapit-lapit din sa 2. So, move kita dari. Approximate si equal to 2. And then, join si ni. This will be your ellipse. Okay, kung gusto mo pang itaon ng mga foci or foci, so c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared, c squared is equal to 1. That means your c is equal to 1, so both sinigod, 1 units away from the center, ang atin niya, focus. So that will be this one and this one. Okay, so... That's it. How simple is it para sa aton? Uh, kung paano natin i-sumahon or kung paano natin i-identify ang mga different parts of an ellipse at the same time, paano natin sumahon ang mga equation of an ellipse. So this is it for now. Thank you. Stay safe. God bless.